Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how much to turn the steering wheel for three types of turns. In this video, I'll be going over the basics of turning the steering wheel for a three-point turn, for a U-turn, and also for right and left turns. Three types of turns, three-point turn, U-turn, right slash left turns. All right, let's get right into the video. I'm gonna start off by demonstrating. I don't wanna to do too much explaining without showing you because it's all about turning the wheel. So let's get right into it. For a three-point turn, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure to turn the steering wheel all the way to the left, to the right, and to the left again while going in drive, reverse, and drive. And I'm not gonna show you all of the safety checks to do because this is a video primarily about steering, okay? I'm in an empty parking lot. We're gonna start out here and then we will make our way onto the road for the right and left turns. All right, so let's say I'm driving and I wanna make a three-point turn. I'm gonna pull over to the side of the road. I'm gonna put my signal on, check my mirrors and all that. Great stuff, all that important stuff to do. Make sure you do them. When you're ready to make the three-point turn, signal left, obviously do your mirror checks. Turn the wheel, <coughs> sorry about that. Turn the wheel all the way to the left. Go and drive. Stop before you hit the curb. Put it in reverse, signal right, do your mirror checks, look all around, turn the wheel all the way to the right, make your turn just like that, I go back, put it in drive, signal, mirror checks, look around, turn all the way to the left. So the key factor with that three-point turn is that you really wanna make sure that you're turning the wheel all the way to the left, all the way to the right, all the way to the left. I'll do it again, but I'll just speak about the steering. We're making a three-point turn right now, Steering all the way to the left, I'm holding it there. Stopping before I hit the curb, the imaginary curb because we're in a parking lot. Steering all the way to the right, holding it there while I'm reversing. Okay, coming to a complete stop. Steering all the way to the left, holding it there until I'm driving straight on the road, then I can release it. Very simple. The next type of turn that I wanna go over is a U-turn. For a U-turn, you're gonna pull over to the side of the road, you know, obviously, put your signal on, do all of your safety checks, make sure that it's safe to do so, to do the U-turn, make sure that you are allowed to do the U-turn, so make sure that it's legal. When you're ready to do the U-turn, you wanna turn the wheel all the way away from the curb. In this case, it's to the left. We would be U-turning to the left, all the way to the left. Release the brake, move forward, obviously doing all of your checks. And when you've completed the U-turn, you release it. So it's similar to a three-point turn in the sense that you're turning the wheel all the way to one direction. But for a U-turn, you're just doing it once. Instead of like a three-point turn, you're turning the wheel all the way to the left, to the right, to the left. For a U-turn, you're just turning it all the way to the left. Check this out once again. Doing an imaginary U-turn. Well, we're doing a real U-turn, but it's in a parking lot. Signaling, doing all of my checks and so forth. Taking the steering wheel, turning all the way to the left till it locks. Like you can't, till it not, doesn't lock, but till you can't move it anymore and then you're gonna hold it there throughout the duration of the U-turn. So I'm holding it here, and then as I complete the U-turn and I'm driving straight on the street, I can release it. So those are the first two types of turns. Now, for the most common ones, which are right and left turns. How much do you have to turn the steering wheel for right and left turns? Well, check this out. I'm gonna turn from this parking lot onto this main road. Watch how much I'm gonna turn the wheel. I turned it about 90% of a full turn. And that is, I would say, about average for a relatively sharp turn, but you can have other types of turns that require you to turn it a little bit less. Now, I'll go over a not so sharp turn in just a moment, okay? So we're gonna turn on to, uh, into this little parking lot here. Gonna put my right signal on, check out how much I'm turning the wheel, doing all of my safety checks, turning the wheel, only about 55% of a turn. So it all depends, but I would say, as a rule of thumb, generally speaking, when you're making right and left turns, you're gonna have to turn the wheel between 50% and 110% of a full turn of the wheel. Basically between half of a turn and a whole turn of the steering wheel. Now check this out. I'm gonna turn onto the main road again, but instead of turning into the closest lane, I'm gonna turn into a little bit of, a, of, the, of the further lane. So you, you can see right here, I'm only turning the wheel about 75% of a turn. So that was, like I said, in between that 50% and about 100, 110%. Now, I'll turn onto the side street. We're gonna switch lanes first. I'll turn onto the side street. 
you'll be able to see that as I make this turn, turning the wheel about 50% of a turn once again, we're gonna drive down here, we'll turn into a parking lot, we'll make a left this time, I think, yeah, we can make a left up here. So I'm gonna put my signal, do my mirror checks, my blind spot check, and I'm gonna turn the wheel, turning at about 65% of a turn. So as you can see, I can't give you a specific number for how much to turn the wheel with regards to right and left turns because all right and left turns are gonna be different and the amount that you turn the wheel will depend on the sharpness of the turn, how fast you're going, where you're turning from, where you're turning into, blah, 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 blah. But I can tell you that as a rule of thumb, as a general rule of thumb, you really wanna make sure that you're turning the wheel between 50% and about 100%, maybe 110%, so just more than a full turn of the wheel. So between half a turn and a full turn to sum it up. And that's basically it. In this video, I've told you and shown you how much to turn the steering wheel for three types of turns. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.